You know, one thing that's an important aspect of gears is showcasing what's going on in the garages and shops all across the nation, and sometimes even helping out a little bit. Because for a lot of us, working on cars is not a hobby. It's a way of life. It's a living. And it's not always easy, especially when you're first getting started. So when we heard about a little shop in Arkansas that was doing good things but could use a helping hand, we decided to make a road trip. Oh, you're being nice? I don't know about that. Mondo Papera is the local Cornwall tool dealer in Rogers, Arkansas. And he supplies tools and equipment to various shops and mechanics. And when Mondo rolls in with his giant tool truck, the gearheads flock like kids to a candy store. They're family. Uh, they've been my customers for four years or five years now. So they're more family than they are my customers. Now most of the places he visits are well-established businesses. However, there is one particular shop that hasn't been around very long, and it holds a special interest for Mondo. When he left the business, he thought he'd never be in the automotive business again. I mean, on the repair side of it. He was doing, uh, went into parts, and thought that's the way he would be the rest of his life. When he came back in the mechanical field, he was actually started with nothing, but he had the abilities. I mean, he could he can work on cars, and he had the ability to diagnose cars. Uh, and when I got my, my first toolbox for my birthday, it was pretty much all over. Yeah. Uh, there, yeah. there was nothing else I could think about doing. And though I've done a, uh, a few things, you know, I went to college and I got business management, and I, I, I thought about doing that, you know, wearing a suit and tie, and and I tried it for a little while, but man, you just when it's in your blood, it's in your blood. Oh, you yeah. just can't get away from it. Even though Jason had been working on cars for a long time, this was his first jump into owning his own business, and he wanted to do things a little differently. We do everything from installing light bulbs to rebuilding engines, uh, just pretty much everything we can get our hands on, uh, and, and, but mostly just what people need. Uh, the Battered Women's Shelter of Northwest Arkansas, we do all of their work um, for their clients and for the staff themselves. We do all the work for them for free. We don't charge them anything. Um, if they'll buy the parts, we do all the work. But sometimes doing things differently isn't always the most lucrative especially if you don't have all the tools you need. To come in and offer a fair service at a fair price, that was the cornerstone of it. And I know that sounds really simple, but it's kind of hard to do sometimes uh, with the overhead. And that's been one of the things we've tried to do is to keep our overhead down. And so we haven't rented a lot of equipment. We haven't leased owned a bunch of equipment. Uh, we've been pretty much taking every cent of profit the business makes and reinvesting it in tools. Fortunately, that's something that we can help Jason with. So we hooked up with our buddies at Cornwell Tools, and we put together a list of some equipment that Jason has got to have. The first and most important was a tire changer and a wheel balancer, so they can mount and balance tires in-house instead of sending them out to someone else. The tire changing machines and, and the AC recovery machine was two areas that we were really lacking in, especially this time of year. So, I mean, it is amazing to get those things because uh, it's going to provide us an opportunity to, to help the community and, and help support our company, too, uh, by being able to branch out and have a little bit more diversity. That's it's awesome. going to be amazing. The next was an auto database and smoke machine to diagnose and service late model vehicles and help bring the auto stop one step closer to being a full service repair shop. It was, it was uh, very pleasant that, that, uh, that you responded and, and we were able to help him. And I think it's a big help to him. I think that's a next step for him, next step in the evolution of his business. I can't thank you guys enough, man. That's pretty much it. You know, when you see somebody like Jason with a strong work ethic and the desire to help other people out, then it's worth investing in somebody like that. That's what car guys have always done, because we understand that the more success a guy like that has, the more success this whole industry has. It's far more satisfying than it is lucrative. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's, uh, that's the payment.